Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another unique game on my channel. This time I would like to show you the Tomb game. And if you haven't heard that, you are in the right place and it's really worth to see that game. Maybe you will get some inspirations. The game was played in Burnaby in 1971. That's the suburbs of Vancouver in Canada uh, by two players, Canadian players. Uh, they became the Fide Master later, but at that time they, they weren't yet. And uh, Bruce Harper gonna play as white bruce harper was 17 years old at that time and we don't know about his ranking probably about 2200 five years later he was already uh, 2300 up so uh, i just estimate that 2200 is the is the right ranking especially he plays against robert zook and robert zook already uh, was a strong player 2260 and he was 24 years old and in this game he's gonna play as black so without further ado let's see what happened on the board bruce harper open with d4 we have knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 bishop g7 e4 d6 so king's indian defense on the board we have a knight f3 by harper uh, and now castle so that is the main line bishop e2 e5 striking in the center castle knight c6 more pressure on the center and now d5 knight e7 uh, and here we have a first deviation from the main line main line is the bayonet attack actually uh, from that position uh, b4 and then with the idea of attack on the c5 and black attacks on the on the king side while white uh, attacks on the on the queen side so this would be the bayonet attack also knight e1 classical system or knight d2 modern system with the idea of um, defending this pawn bringing this pawn to for example f3 sometimes f4 and and so on so that's also possible bishop g5 this is also very much playable uh, however in this game we have bishop d2 quite silent move it's korchnoi attack um, and now we have knight h5 preparing f5 we have rook c1 and here we are still in the book the most popular moves actually are h6 and f5 so f5 is very natural h6 just to avoid any jumps on the on the g5 by the minor pieces uh, but here we have c5 in the move 10 uh, i don't see any games in the in the database but sometimes you know it's playable to to just lock the center um, and then focus on the on the attack on the king side we have g3 now controlling f4 so the knight cannot go to f4 for example that would be very very active piece uh, and now f5 is probably the best the most logical move in the position however uh, in this position robert zook retreat with the knight so he has another idea here so knight f6 first we have a3 preparing b4 very um, natural idea as well and now we have knight e8 uh, preparing f5 and now b4 should be played in this position however uh, bruce harper has the has the issue with the light square so what he wants to do he wants to bring the bishop um to the to the g2 square very natural one so first he played knight e1 we have f5 uh, and now what should be played it's continue b4 or maybe knight g2 maybe try this way um, and continue the game however we have e takes on f5 uh, and this actually led robert zook to to bring the knight to very active position knight f5 and this knight would love to go for example to to d4 because why not we have bishop f3 now continuing the plan with bringing the bishop to g2 and now we have b6 solidifying the position bishop g2 and now knight d4 as planned and here again very brave move uh, what bruce harper want to do is break up the position uh, he just see that okay these pieces are a, a little bit too dangerous so he tries to open so he played f4 we have bishop f5 developing the light square bishop and now f takes on e5 bishop takes on e5 bishop h6 attacking the rook so bishop goes back to g7 and now just exchanging the dark square bishops we have knight d3 now and queen g5 and already position of black is a is a really really nice position very active so something has to be done about that this is why we have knight f4 blocking the queen and now rook a to e8 and now we have a critical moment 
of the game how to continue as white it's it's a very difficult position because black already gathered all the pieces and opening this f file i'm not sure that was probably very bad idea now the engines uh, recommends knight b5 knight b5 just getting rid um, of this of this knight this knight is a really powerful piece so knight b5 c takes on b5 and maybe try to you know continue uh, from that position um, this way however in this position bruce harper play queen a4 going after the a7 pawn and also preparing this knight b5 so uh, bruce harper doesn't want to lose the supporter of this pawn this is how i understand his move uh, we have queen e7 so the queen couldn't go to e6 this way uh, this is why we have uh, queen e7 with the idea of going to e3 uh, and also at the same time defending a7 uh, and now probably queen d1 was necessary uh, but of course this is the the engine move so queen d1 is recommended just to go back but the engine doesn't understand the plans and the human uh, of course make the plan make this move queen e4 for the reason to attack on the queen side uh, which is which is pretty natural but in this position not really great uh, we have knight b5 played by uh, bruce harper uh, and now actually g5 could be played and this is the strongest move in the position however it's also very complicated because now of course if the knight is moved this knight can jump and fork the king and the rook so black would have the very easy winning position so probably knight d4 first but then queen e3 and after king h1 then c takes on d4 and now this knight is under attack has to find a way to go knight h3 it looks good however it's not that great and i will show you uh, in the game what happened after knight h3 knight e6 is recommended by the engine and that was probably the best what white would get would, would get here knight e6 d e6 rook e6 and black has one extra pawn these are the double pawns however this is also the past pawn very powerful with the support of the bishop with the support of the queen and uh, white doesn't really have any any counterplay this pawn is extremely dangerous so this was the best way to continue however uh, robert zug wanted to play solid here so we have knight b5 queen b5 and now queen e3 as planned forking the rook and the and the king for now of course the the rook is defended however after king h1 we have g5 kicking the knight and again knight e6 probably was the best idea here and after knight e6 d e6 rook e6 and try to continue this way probably something like queen c6 bring the queen to this diagonal that's that's very important one however we have knight h3 so now you will see why this knight h3 isn't that great we have bishop d3 now attacking the the rook so rook f8 with check rook f8 and now as you see the the rook is not protected anymore so have to be moved so we have rook g1 uh, and now it looks like okay look at this protection the king is so safe over there and uh, how to get to that king we have bishop e4 so start from uh, removing the bishop one of the strongest defender in the position we have have queen d7 defending move very interesting idea the idea is after bishop takes on g2 which was played in the game and of course rook g2 then queen e4 pins the rook and now the problem is if you would like to take the pawn this is free free pawn okay uh the problem is this is also a checkmate so you cannot play that move this rook is pinned so the position is very dangerous this is why we have knight g1 preventing that but also making a space for the queen uh, and now rook f2 of course is possible this is the checkmate threat and after queen c8 actually the this rook would have to go back so it's almost checkmate but but it's not okay the queen uh, always can come back to to h3 and support the rook but in this case probably would not be necessary so rook would go back of course black still have a winning position uh, however is it was unnecessary more precise move is h6 very silent h6 now h6 mega space for the king so here is the idea and now if the queen for example takes the pawn i would like to just show you 
Rook f2 is deadly because now uh, queen b8 and now king h7 and the queen cannot support the rook because it's not on the, this diagonal, on the light square diagonal anymore. So that would be a checkmate. So uh, h6 is a very, very deep move, very strong and silent move. Now we have h4 making some space for the king, uh, but now rook f2. So checkmate is on the board. This is why now we have queen h3 defending and now g4 pushing the queen to the only square h2 h2 and look at this now we have h5 and this we can call it you know the tomb so this is why it's called the tomb game now how to continue the rook is of course pinned the queen has only one move and now if you move the knight you're gonna lose it for free uh, and of course the, the rook is coming and that's gonna be a checkmate uh for example, you can just win the queen and uh, and of course this is winning the game. So it's not even possible. Knight h3 also doesn't work because this time we really have a checkmate. Gh3, queen h3 and after rook f1, king h2, queen e1 and the rook is coming to the, to the h1 square and that's gonna be a checkmate. And of course uh, these squares also are controlled so any moves like moving the pawn, trying to find the, the solution doesn't work. White can deliver a couple of checks or something but this is the first checkmate. So in this position we have b4 and now Robert Zook, you know, torture his opponent even more. Rook f1. So he now doesn't have the move with the with the knight. So knight is pinned and also the rook is pinned and the queen only move uh, is to h3. Do you see that? This is this is almost the Zugzwang. We have b5. The the only moves now are the moves with the with the pawns and I hope you see already what's going to happen. Robert Zook played king h8, torturing his opponent. We have a4, we have king h7 now, we have a5, and after king g8, Bruce Harper resigned. And why did he resign? Because whatever he played, uh, if he played, for example, a6, then we're gonna have, for example, king h8. If he takes, doesn't really matter. The only legal move now is queen h3. This is the only legal move. And this is real Zugzwang. Like uh, we see a lot of games where, where it's called Zugzwang, but, but it's not real one. This one is the real Zugzwang. So queen h3 would have to be played. And after g takes on h3, in the next move, we're gonna have a checkmate. Nothing can be done here. King h2, queen g2. So this is why after king g8, Bruce Harper resigned. What a game! This was so unique game. I really love it. So I put it to my folder with uh, Immortal Games. It, it was never called Immortal Game, but in my opinion, this is like real Zugzwang. So yeah, if you enjoy that game, if you like this game, press like and if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you want to see more interesting and unique games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one